Hello everyone and welcome to Mountain Lake Journal. I'm Tom Halleck. This week, calls for change nationwide are focusing new attention on statues and landmarks from our past. Across the country and here in New York, many are facing new scrutiny and in some cases being removed. But here in Plattsburgh, historians and community members are taking a different approach. This educational panel unveiled this week at the Samuel de Champlain statue in the city of Plattsburgh is the result of more than two years of research by a working group organized by Pastor Greg Huth, who consulted Native American leaders, teachers, and Champlain scholars to correct several of the statue's historical inaccuracies. The bronze statue erected in 1912 portrays Champlain in his famous battle gear proclaims him navigator, discoverer, and colonizer. We learned that Champlain was a discoverer only from the European point of view. Native allies, including the Huron Algonquin and Montagnais, who had lived in this valley for more than 11,000 years, had guided Champlain from Quebec to the shores of the lake that now bears his name. None of these people wore the Plains Indians headdress that is depicted on the Native American at the monument. The words there, navigator, discoverer, colonizer. I think that the working group has done a wonderful job in crafting this panel and to identify what precisely is wrong in 2020 with those words that were written over a hundred years ago. It wasn't easy because we had uh, a rumor went out that we, uh, what we were about was to tear the monument down. And we had met with many people who were very fearful of that. And so I want to compliment or acknowledge this community because as we are here today, there is a lot of emotional um, trauma that's being played out about monuments. Some are being uh, removed in the middle of the night. Even some statues of people who did good things, for example, Frederick Douglass, monument of him, was removed uh, in, in Rochester. So it's good to be able to talk long enough so that you can come to a common ground. Early on, though, the group had decided that removing the statue wasn't an option. And our conversations um, very quickly uh, were that no one thought it should come down. Uh, people were more, some were historians or ed, some were educators or retired educators. And we wanted to use this as an educational opportunity, yes, to correct, to give context. Um, and we just started listening. We started listening and learning. It opened our eyes to Champlain as well as to the, the natives and their presence here for so long. You know, very, very early on, they understood the opportunity to use this as an educational moment. And I really think it's come together. This is going to provide us a legacy to try to remember, better remember the past and properly reflect on the past. And if we had lost the statue, everyone to follow us would have lost that opportunity. 